Hey everyone, welcome back. I played a game called Forager a few weeks ago on one of my weekend live streams right here on YouTube, and I had a great time with it. This here is my first experience with the game in video form. Now, I gotta be honest, I hate making videos out of my live footage because I stutter a lot when speaking and talk awkwardly sometimes, and editing a whole stream into a much shorter video leads to a lot of cuts and jumps in order to keep it on topic. But I wanted to experiment, so I hope you enjoy the video. With that, let's get into the game. The only thing I've done is load into a game to take a thumbnail screenshot. That's literally it. Right away, it seems charming. I'm not sure how to increase my frame rate, so that's a little, little bit concerning. I don't know if there's some settings I should be turning down, or if this is just how the game is. Well, yeah, so we're gonna just go for the classic experience since it's the only thing that we can go for. So we're on a, a little island. The FPS might be part of the style. Yeah, maybe. My uh, lonely little man on his island knows exactly what to do. I need uh, 10 stones. All right. Can I, is that even a stone? Can I break this? I can't break this. The creator said it's inspired by Terraria. Ugh. Like, this FPS just feels wacky. I should get out of the way. Stop standing in the middle of my open space. So I need, I need coal. Uh, do I have coal? Can I make coal? I need wood. All right. Enjoy this game slaps. Well, good to hear another positive review on it. This is really just how it's supposed to play, though. Like, if that's just how it's supposed to be, then th that's just how it's supposed to be, but... It does feel a little bit weird. You're definitely frame dropping. I have an, a stable 60 FPS on a worse device than your PC. I'll have to change around some settings and see if that fixes it. I'm seeing that if you do 60 Hertz, I cap at 60 FPS, but above that it drops. Okay, hold on, hold on. Woo. Yeah, that is way better. Man, you move quick. Oh boy. We were actually just like running at half speed. <laughs> well, good thing we figured that out pretty quick or uh, it was figured out for me, I should say. So I can just eat uh, the stuff that I have. There wouldn't be a way to like already convert this into better food, would there? Oh. Fish trap. Let me make another. I need more wood. I know I should eat, I know. Oh, level two! Skill points. So this is interesting. It is meant to be like an idle game, isn't it? Uh, like in some ways, because like I'm seeing that in the way that these fish traps will just passively get you food, right? What's this? Ooh. Skills. Unlock steel, glass, gain XP when building structures. Incidentally gain 40 coins. Forges create four extra coins every time. Cotton spawns more often, allows you to find wheat, allows you to find beets. Gain 25% more EXP. Grizzle did say it first, so. He did get to the suggestion first, so we'll go for economy. I should buy lands and expand. Oh, buy land. This is cool. Like, th this is just like a f fun concept to me. Like, you just expand your... It almost reminds me of, like, Skyblock, you know? You start off with your, your little island with resources, and then you slowly expand. Oh, let's not break that. Oh. Maybe punching it was the move. Uh, okay, and then I should be able to cook this, right? Can I do it in here? Yes. Nifty. Oh. Hell yeah. We have jelly now. What does the jelly do? Crafting recipe. Hopefully it's actually used for something, like, useful. Unlike slime in like basically every other game I've ever played. <laughs> I mean, I guess they're used for torches in Terraria, which is nice, but I mean, if you're not making torches with slime, like what the, what the heck else are you doing with it? Asphalt? Do you make uh, asphalt with slime? You can upgrade pickaxe. I think I need a uh, better like crafting stations for that though, don't I? I guess I should work on making those. Iron ingots and bricks. 
Foraging Obelisk. Gain bonus XP from gathering herbs and crops. Only one Obelisk can be active at a time. I should have activated that before gathering those berries. I could make this as well. Attire and accessories useful for any adventurer. We'll make that after. Like right there, sure. Okay, so slime pickaxe. All right, so this is, you can get, the jelly is useful for upgrades. Glass and thread, which, so I need four of these torch bugs. Cool, we got level three. All right, Pete wanted industry, so we're gonna get industry before working on this stuff. Okay, here's storage, cool. So we might do that next. We'll do that whenever we actually need storage space. Uh, okay, so I do wanna work on getting the better pickaxe. Is the bottle gonna be, I assume it's just gonna be disposable. The thread is probably gonna be from this crafting station. I mean, it's a sewing station, that would make sense. I'm gonna have to look at all of these. Carpentry station, structures cost 25% less wood. Whoa, what the heck is that frame drop? Unlocks markets and then vaults. Do I need vaults? Bottles are big, okay. What happened to my frames, dude? Get magic. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, will my frame rate fix itself? Okay, I'm gonna have to restart my game again, I think. Later in the game, you'll get down to like 10 FPS average, so get used to it. Ugh. I think I'm gonna have to be doing a lot of restarting if I'm getting down to 10 FPS. That, that do does not sound like I'm gonna be having very much fun. I hate the new Fortnite map. What, do you, do you play Fortnite feet? Feet, Pete? Hi, feet, how are you? Uh, I gotta make my coins. Okay, 12 coins, yeah. Swag. I wish I would tell you how many coins it gave you, but all right. What is this game? It is Forager. That's what the game is called. It's, um, apparently it's idle. It's a, it's an idle game. Someone said earlier, it's idle plus puzzle and hack and slash. So that's what the game is. Treasure chest. I need a key for that, don't I? What's the point of taking multiple hits to break things if there's nothing sto else stopping you? Uh, it's because of the energy limiter, Aqua. Realism, perhaps? I don't know. Cause like, you could just make it take one hit and then have a better tool make it also take one hit, but take less energy, but that's not how any game has ever worked ever. So, I, I don't know. Uh, where is vaults? Right here. Steel and brick. I need steel first. Oh, boy. Iron ingots, gold ingots, coal. Okay. I needed two of these. Oh, wait. I need more to make steel then, don't I? Yeah, I need six of these. And then I need... Uh, I'm going to need six gold ingots as well. That's going to make me five. So I need three. Okay, I gotta remember the slimes do jump at you from a mile away. Four, two for a key. Uh, yeah, I just need more coal. And I should have enough uh, to make the vault. Where'd I put this? Up in the corner, why not? Holy shit. Level up. Okay, so space is recommending the gathering skill, so I guess we'll do that. Oh, four more in inventory slots is nice. Okay, man, only six slots. God damn, dude. Uh, so I need more gold and I needed four iron, right? I need, I have three, let's make one. And then I needed two gold for this chest over here. I need to make this better pickaxe actually as well. Uh, I gotta focus on making the bottles, huh? I need the, um, oh no, I have it. I forgot about this. I never even checked it because I'm a bum. I never sleep. Pete moment. Uh, no, nope, I just won't want the key.
coins are worth 50% more? What does that mean? I can buy 50% more things with my coins? Is that good? Used for trapping critters and bottling liquids. How do I use it? Oh, there you go. We have one torch bug. Now I need three more. We're just gonna make everything into coins. I got the payday two key for one euro. God damn. Level 10. Man, we're leveling up pretty fast right now. Hold on. More minerals. More minerals is always nice. Calciferous allows you to eat minerals and gems. <laughs> I might get that just to just <laughs> just to see how that how that works. This is a lot of coal. This is quite nice. That is a poop. Pretty cool, not gonna lie. Oh, I didn't know you could just press E and Q for this. That's pretty nice. I forgot about buying land as well. Let's do that. Oh. Look at those guys. Oh, Madge. Oh, shit. Ow. Man. So those are cows. I can actually interact with them. We are amazing, or you are amazing and we love you. I don't really want to kill them, but like, what happens if I do? What's happening? I still love you. <laughs> what does killing them do? Free radishes and free accessory and also a steam achievement. Are they just gone forever? If I kill one, do they all die? They come back to life and say hate comments and they try to murder you. <laughs> Final boss in the game. You are my favoritest person in the history of ever. Man, they are, they, they're really like, this game is really trying to make you feel bad for killing the plants. <laughs> Buy new land. I have big money. I should do that. I can't buy anything except for this, so. Whoa. Own five lands. Oh yeah, all the lands, baby. Let's grab more gold so I can buy more land. Where are the bugs? I need one bug, dude. Bug? Up here? Maybe? No? Okay. Finally. Can I make my slime pickaxe? I need 15 iron ingots. Oh, right. I, I didn't even see that there's a giant... I don't know. Goddess? Sweet child. Let my fairies rest your weary body. I need to ask you for a very small donation. I will reward you with the power of my fairies. Small donation, you say? Uh-huh. She appears at night? Okay. So I didn't miss her. Then I just wasn't, uh, wasn't looking at the right time. One point five attack damage. Resources and plants may drop jelly. I hope it's more effective than my last one. We're making all the money. Let's see, can I buy more land? Nope, all of it's too expensive. Holy moly! I can buy that one now. I'll buy this one for two eighty, or this one for two seventy. Let's buy this one. Oh, it's a big building. Bows and arrows, enemies drop coins when killed. That's probably useful for um, enemies dropping coins. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna wanna make a bow and arrow. Let's go see what this building is though. Oh, we can go inside. Oh, what the heck? Welcome to the museum. Your collections are rather incomplete at the moment. 
feel free to help me fill the bundles. You'll get a reward for each one completed. Ah, so we're taking a page out of Stardew's book. All right, cool. I don't really want to use my resources for that yet, uh, but we'll come back to that. Probably important to have one of those. Ooh, golden pickaxe. Oh my God. Where do I get beetles? Where do I make the bow? Oh, slime bow. I just need more iron ingots. I don't know, really know how many of these I want to make. I assume I want to make a lot, though, because they are very cheap. Aw, yeah. Small backpack. So does that, like, upgrade my accessory? Okay, that makes sense. And then I go to medium backpack, slime wallet. Cool, cool. I may as well make another vault. Um, for more stuff pretty soon, though. gonna block off put it here look at all this stuff man oh my god like we're really industrializing here the white hive mind don't like the, the look bro the, this is not i'm not included in this okay yuckin don't like don't like this is not my hive mind this is my chat's hive mind the swipe mind you guys are gonna have to become a little more intellectual if you wanna be called the swipe mind, okay? What are ballistas? Bows shoot triple arrows? Yo, get masonry. Get banks, I'll get banks later. Machinery, yo. All structures have a 10% chance to craft double items. That's pretty good, actually. I can buy more land, by the way. Let's do that. Keep expanding our upper area that's a big star what is that star fragment very rare mineral can only be found at night you know I don't, if you ask me that that was a whole ass star but you know whatever fragment sure we'll go with that all right let's peek at what's over here Oh, it's a puzzle. Uh, let me... That's pretty cool. Uh, what am I supposed to be doing here? What happens if I just press them all down? No. What do I do with this, man? Like, it's a puzzle, yeah, I assume. Well, but what does it do, though? And how am I supposed to figure it out? Bottom right... Top left, top right, bottom left. Okay. Nope, bro went bottom right, top right. That's what you said, isn't it? That's not what you said. I'm just, I'm just reading you wrong. Do, reading you? Do I have fucking dyslexia, bro? Did I read it right even? Oh, nice. Did you actually know that? Or did you just guess? Look at the symbols. One line, two line, three line, four lines. Okay, sorry. I didn't see your message, Uh, One, two, three, four. That doesn't make sense. I'm not very good at stuff like this. Because, I, I mean, like, I just, I, I just did, didn't see that at all. How much do I need for the next uh, piece of land? Ooh, those are expensive. Oh, I can buy this one already. It's a rainbow! I just like seeing the, the, the cool stuff that's on the different pieces of land. Double items! Dude, you can double your coins. That's nice. With the, uh, whatever perk it was. The machinery one. What does that mean, Pete? You, 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 you tell me, bro. Bows don't consume arrows. Wow, after I made 25 arrows, 22 arrows, now they don't consume arrows. I guess I don't have to worry about arrows anymore. That's pretty nice. <laughs> I just don't have to worry about making arrows ever again. Offshore drills may gather sand for free. 
Provides a 25% chance to find coal when digging. Factories. I don't know what factories are going to do. I mean, we can improve our bows. That's fine. Oops, I... Ouch, be careful. Oh, boy. I can actually mine trees with my bow and rocks. Dude, I can just long range mine stuff with my bow. That's so weird. Ouch. Is that thing gonna hurt me? What does it do? Oh, is this another puzzle? So the rainbow doesn't do anything on its own. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna hit all of the colored mushrooms. Okay, so this is another puzzle. Do it in order of the rainbow. That's what I figured. Just give me, give me a second. I can figure out that much. Uh, which one's actually red? Is this one red? Orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Isn't there an indigo? There's usually indigo in the rainbow, isn't there? Whatever. Nice chest. Now I need to go grab a, uh, a key. Make ourselves a key. Use a bottle at the rainbow. Okay, hold on. To sleep. True. Bro just needs to go to go the fuck to bed, man. Dude, more XP? Let's go. Dude, I got some bottled rainbow. It changes colors constantly. Use on objects to spread the love. Huh? It's rainbow now. That's fun. Uh, we need more land. Let's see, can I buy any of this? I can buy all the stuff over there. 350, 1.2K, 560. Oh, that looks cool. Okay, uh, what's over here? Oh, it's, a, it's another puzzle. You need gems. I do need gems, you're right. That's unfortunate that I sold most of my gems. Well, son of a bitch. I just want to get rid of everything here. Sick, bro. What is doing that? What was making that sound? Oh, it's a skeleton breaking my stuff. How about you don't do that? You ass. Get away from my things. Capitalism! <laughs> dude! Capitalism, yo. Yo, no, 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 dude. Come on. You can place the rainbow bottle on the rainbow? Let me try. Dude, we are actually in here with the capitalism. You capitalist. Uh, what can I say, dude? I love me some capitalism. Yo, rainbow, rainbow. Hell yeah, dude. Addicted, play the game for three hours. I need more land. Yo, what is that? It's an old man. It is dangerous to go alone. 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 That's not intentional, right? Like, what? Take this. Wow. Thanks, bro. <laughs> my bird friend told me about the existence of golden eggs. In all my years, I have never seen one. I would sure like to, though. If only someone was young and awesome enough to find one for me. Dude, maybe I'd consider it if you didn't give me a four pieces of poo. I don't know, man. I'm not feeling super charitable after that. 
Okay. I assume that was another star fragment. Where is it? Oh my god, there's so many trees. Uh, where is it? Where is the star? Uh, it's not up here? Behind trees? Up here? Oh, there it is. You're right. I'm just blind. Well, that's nothing new. I mean, it is a little bit hidden, but that's not that hidden. I definitely should have been able to see that. It is what it is. But to be honest, I didn't see it either. Well, at least I'm not alone, Yuck Chen. Uh, more land. Sounds inexpensive. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, what's that? Okay. We'll go check out the, the bottom left one first. You're just the person I was waiting for. The natural resources are being exploited by little jerks with pickaxes. I need you to bring me two torch bugs so I can keep them safe from harm. What? Ooh, dude, it's the clothier. Ah, here are the actual Plantera masks. Terraria Slime, Lunatic Cultist, Plantera. I'm going Rainbow Cthulhu. Rainbow Cthulhu is just the Fargo's Moon Lord fight. Always comes back to Fargo's, bro. I get, but like, no, it's not. It's not even Moon Lord. It's just Cthulhu, bro. Whoa. Like, yeah, Moon Lord is supposed to be Cthulhu, but like Cthulhu is just Cthulhu. The Fargo's Resprite is Cthulhu. Bro, Moon Lord is also just Cthulhu. Like, it's just a remodeling of Cthulhu, my dude. Well, good thing I can hurt this, this laser turret. I assume it's a laser turret anyways. Because it appears to want to uh, damage me. Is this the edge of the world? Oh, it's a fairly small world, actually. But look, I mean, my stream crashes, my stream crashes, okay? There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, and speaking about that, though, I think it's about time to wrap it up, actually, though. Fun game. Um, honestly, I want to play it more. Um, I think it would be cool to do so. But, uh, yeah, we'll come back to Forager at some point. I enjoy the game. I do want to see what more it has to offer, uh, at least in this classic mode. So, um, yeah, but that's all for now, and I will see you in the next stream.